Hello friends. Canada's ecosystem is gradually being destroyed by wild boars. How did Canadian farmers deal with wild boars? Please watch our entire video. After three and a half months of pregnancy, this wild boar gave birth to eight baby wild boars. This is a farmer's farm. After about a week, the baby wild boars begin to walk and eat plants around this area. They dig for plants they like, and they eat insects on the leaves. The pigs then headed to the lake shore to drink water and find more food. They make the area around the lake heavily polluted. They use their snouts to find larvae and worms under layers of mud. They are a concern for Canadians. What did they do to stop their actions? Canadian farmers have placed cameras around areas with traces of wild boar destruction to monitor them. Areas that feral pigs have devastated will attract many different feral and invasive species. They observed for a whole day to better grasp the situation. When it's nighttime, wild boars start to become active again. They will go looking for food in small swamps where there are worms. This is part of wild boars' natural hunting activities as they search for food in the wild. Once farmers determined the number of wild boar herds and learned about their activity habits, they began preparing traps to catch a series of wild boars. This process requires technique and experience, as wild boars are highly sensitive and alert to potential dangers. However, this could be a way to control the wild boar population and protect the natural environment from their excessive impact. How many pigs can this trap trap? These are the questions that are asked, and many people ask, can this trap hold 10 adult wild boars? Is this trap secure? Of course, take a look here. These are pigs that weigh about 250 to 300 pounds. They are looking for food at night. In this trap, a lot of grain has been placed that they like to eat. One by one, each wild boar goes into the trap to enjoy the grain. The other animals in the herd also came one after another. It seemed like they discovered something, so they ran away. After a while, when they feel safe, they continue to enter the trap to eat. After they entered, the trap collapsed. They were very frightened and tried to break the trap door to escape. When you encounter wild boars like this, you should stay away from them. Otherwise, they will attack you. Trapping wild boars can only partially help prevent the growth of wild boar populations. The pigs escape the traps, once again running away, becoming a formidable challenge. They know how to hide in dense forests, and the mountains will be their new refuge. Under the shade of forest trees and shrubs, they feel safer and are harder to catch by direct pursuit.
After a long time of being hunted, the wild boar's senses have become very sharp and alert. Every hiss of leaves, a change in the wind, or even a distant murmur can agitate them and get them ready to flee. When one animal in the herd feels there is a potential danger, it will cry out to signal the whole herd, and in the blink of an eye, they can suddenly run away in any direction, even swimming across the stream expertly. Hunting wild boars in the mountains becomes quite difficult, especially when they are familiar with the terrain and know how to take advantage of the natural environment to avoid pursuit. This is an exciting and challenging race for adventure hunters, requiring patience and skill to be able to deal with wild boars in the wild. Not only wild boars, but there are quite a lot of deer living in these areas. Two farmers will go up to the observation deck to wait for the wild boar. You see, this herd of wild pigs is quite large. Can you count how many baby wild boars are in the herd? The process of hunting wild boar is an adventurous and challenging task, requiring skill, patience, and an understanding of the behavior of this wild animal. Hunters often have to approach wild boars by penetrating deep into the jungle, walking silently and subtly so as not to attract the boar's attention. They often have to use wild tricks, such as tracks and scent, to find the location of the pigs. Once close enough, the hunt becomes an exciting race between humans and wild boars. The hunter must have agility and skill in using traditional or modern weapons to kill the target quickly and effectively. However, wild boar hunting also requires respect for nature and the protection of ecological balance. When a hunt ends successfully, people often evaluate their personal patience and technical abilities. This is not just an activity about gathering food, but also an experience of immersing yourself in the wild and facing the challenges of the natural environment. However, it should be noted that wild boar hunting needs to comply with regulations and laws on environmental and wildlife protection to ensure the sustainability of this activity. There is a very unique measure applied here to prevent the growth of wild boar populations. This tiger was fitted with a GPS and released into the forest. Canadian farmers will let it attack and eat wild boar. Tigers are one of the species that terrify wild boars because their attacks are very fast and accurate. Black bears are famous in Canada. They have decimated 2% of the wild boar population here. They have greater strength than wild boars, so catching and controlling them is also much easier. This brown bear caught a young wild boar during an evening chase. Which method of treatment to prevent the growth of wild boar populations do you like the most? Please comment below in the comments section to let us know. Now let's continue watching. Let's go.